Police say it was around noon when the victim was walking here on Bradley Avenue, just south of Eastern Parkway, when she noticed a man following her. 12 o'clock in the middle of the day. Uh, that's pretty brazen. Elliot Brindley lives on Malon Avenue across the street from where police say Sean Miles attacked the victim. Police say she had just turned down Malon Avenue when Miles punched her, then jumped on top of her. My wife had just left for work. The lady across the street had just left for work. I was in the basement working. I worked from home. Didn't hear a thing, nothing. And it's, it's just heartbreaking, devastating. Like, it's awful. Ron Burton and his wife had left for an appointment just one hour earlier. Otherwise, I would have, I always sat right beside that window there and I see everything that goes on over in this driveway just about. It just so happened we were gone that day. As it turns out, police say there was another rape that occurred in broad daylight on the same day. Police say the other one happened around 9.30 a.m. here in the 100 block of West Jefferson Street, not far from the convention center. In that case, Travis Hall was arrested and charged with rape and sexual abuse. Police say he pulled the victim behind a wall and then raped her. A witness was able to get a photo of Hall, and he was arrested shortly after 2 o'clock that day in the same area. In the case of Miles, he was arrested Sunday night when he was spotted on Abraham Flexner Way near UofL Hospital. The two cases had neighbors like Brindley and his wife on edge. Yeah, she's concerned, very. And I watch her when she leaves. She calls me when she's coming home, and I... I stay at the door and make sure she comes in or I come out and help her. So, yeah, things have changed. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.